English is the global language, making it essential for German speakers to have a decent proficiency in English. For example, when you go on holiday or try to understand memes on social media. And lucky for us, English and German seem to have fairly similar sentence structures. But here's the twist. A striking difference arises when it comes to prepositions. Prepositions are words like with, for or against. In German, there's only one possible way to ask the following question. Gegen wen hat Harry gekämpft? The preposition gegen must stand in the very beginning of the question. Translate this to English and you have two options. Against whom did Harry fight? Or who did Harry fight against? In other words, English and German differ in their flexibility with prepositions. English seems to be more flexible, while German is stricter. Much like their speakers. I investigate what factors influence the flexibility of dropping prepositions. For example, imagine a dialogue between two speakers, perhaps Ron and Hermione, talking about Harry. Ron asks, who did Harry fight against? Hermione can either reply against Voldemort or simply Voldemort. In English, it does not matter whether the short answer includes the preposition or not. In German, the short answer usually has to include the preposition gegen Voldemort. However, in some contexts, German allows to drop the preposition in these short answers as well, while in other contexts, it is less acceptable to do so. To figure out which factors enhance or lower the accessibility of dropping prepositions, I developed a set of dialogues in both English and German. I then asked native English and German speakers to rate how natural the short answers in these dialogues sound to them. The dialogues systematically differed. On the one hand, the questions in the dialogues include different verbs and prepositions. Some might even include a subclause, while others are not even questions, but statements. On the other hand, the short answers in these dialogues differed as well. Some pose clarification questions, while others add more information to the dialogue, while others disagree with the preceding statements. Based on the ratings of these dialogues, I found that you can't just simply put English and German in different boxes, saying one is very flexible and one is very strict. Instead, there are more nuanced factors in the sentence structures which influence the difference between the two languages. Maybe you can guess on what other factors the accessibility depends, or as the English might say, what it depends on.